I did a short about this kit a couple weeks ago, and I got a couple comments asking for a more detailed video on it. So I figured I'd do a little detailed video. So I just keep it in this cat plastic box. I've done video about this cat box. The first thing is this hose. And this hose has a cat part number on it. Uh, it's 177. It's the rest of it here. 7860. And I think that's just for the hose. It doesn't include the couplers. But it's a eighth inch hose that's rated at 6,000 PSI. And then these are the Parker style PD couplers. I use the females on the hose. Some people like male and female and some people like both male. It just depends on how your gauges are set up and how your test rig set up. But for me, the gauges have males and then the test rigs are males. So it's better to have the hose like this. And then these couplers you can get from Cat or you can get from John Deere or you can get them from PD or from Parker. They're the PD couplers. I put a link in the description for the PD or it's the it's the Park Quick Disconnect catalog and it has these PD couplers in it. So that's what I keep in there in the front. So the basis of the kit is these two. They're Parker PD quick couplers and then they have o-ring face on the other end so this one's a four and this one's a six these do have john deere part numbers i'll put those in the description as well uh, i'm not sure what's cheaper but it might be easier to find these from john deere or if you have a if you're a parker you know a parker dealer or something or you might even be able to find them online i really haven't looked but they're not that expensive from john deere i think this one was 35 and this one was 30 so it's not that bad but the way that i have this kit set up is I just have a bunch of T's. These are just O-ring face T's, and then you can just screw it on to make your, your connection. Some people have this style. So this is more of the cat style, where it's it's O-ring face, but then this is an O-ring boss. And this is a little bit more expensive because you have to get the fitting separate. So if you have a whole kit of these, it's, it's a lot more expensive than just how I have it set up here. So then if you need a test for do it that way and then if you need to test like a six where's my six that was too tight but there's a six and then you can just put an adapter to the fitting so this one's a six so what I would do is if I needed to test a four or say I needed to test a six here this is a six you can tee into a hose and then this is an adapter and then you can just screw it on so if you have some bigger ones yeah this thing can get pretty long but I've never had an issue where that's been wouldn't fit so then the way i have it is i have from four all the way to 16 o-ring face and then there's just a bunch of adapters so here's a 12 so there's a 12 and then here's a 12 to an 8 or a 12 to a 10 so then what i would do is if i need to test a 12 i would just screw this on here so then that's 12 to 10 and then there's an adapter here this adapter is 10 to 8, and then 8 to 6. You just make it, adapt it down to whatever size you need. So that's the O-ring face. And then what I use are these, which is an O-ring face male to a JIC female. So if I need to test, this is JIC 6. So I need to test the JIC 6. I can, whoops, I can screw this onto there. You obviously have to tighten them with a wrench or they will leak, but it's just for demonstration. So then I can screw that onto there. So now I can test the JIC-6. So Cat and John Deere don't use too much JIC, so I really only have 4, 6, and 8, which pretty much covers what I need. If you work on other stock type of equipment, you would definitely probably need more JIC, but this is how I use it. And then that's how I, so that's how I would test a JIC-6. Here's an 8, which is the same thing. It's an 8 JIC T, and then there's this adapter from 8 JIC to 8 O-ring face. And then that's just all the adapters. And there's a couple more things in here. Let's see. There's this, which is, I think they call this 24-degree cone. This was on a cat thumb kit. There's extra parts left over, so I, I, gra I grabbed this. And this is an adapter from that 20, I think it's 24 degree cone to, this is six 
um, flat face. Oh, so Cat calls it O-ring face. A lot of people call it flat face, but it's the same thing. And then that would be able to test the 24 degree cone in this size, having it that way. And then we have some of these. These are quick couplers. A lot of people use these. A lot of skid steers use these. A lot of different brands. But if you need to test like the flow, or not the flow, you need to test the pressure at a quick coupler on, say, a backhoe, what you would do is this is, I think this is 10. Let me see. Yeah, it's 10. So then what I would do is just adapt this down to, to the, the test here. So then I would just put all the adapters on and have it like that, and then I could test the pressure or what you could do if you needed to I don't have the correct fitting but you could basically make a T like this where you could interrupt you could unhook say you're testing a hammer you could unhook it plug this in plug that into the hose and then you could have a T with a test I don't have that set up for this yet but that's the majority of everything and then also there's some specialty stuff so this is a Parker it's an M10 by 1.0. It's for testing ZF transmission pressures or clutch pressures. Um, I think Cat uses this as well. But they call it something different. This is the Parker version. There is a John Deere part number for this, but I could not find it, so I just got the Parker one. And then there's also this, which is this is British pipe, and it's for testing pilot pressure and pump pressure on um, Hitachi or John Deere excavators. And then it just has this little, this just goes to JIC, and then I have this little adapter, which is to four O ring face. And then there's this is another style. They use these on like Lee Bears and some cranes, and a lot of industrial equipment use this style test port where it screws on, and then this just goes to pipe. So, what I'm going to do is this is this is O ring. O-ring boss, but it's the same concept. So I'm gonna, I have a pipe, one of these, and I'm going to screw that in there, and then that'll make it an adapter from that style. I forgot what that style's called. I'll try to remember and note that. And then just a bunch of different fittings. Here's a neat fitting that I found. A lot of times you can just find fittings and stuff, and I just throw them in here because you never know what you're going to need. This is from 12 to 16. So it's 16 male down to 12 female. And then just kind of throw whatever else I need in here. This is how I would, I had to test the JIC4 for some reason. So here's, I used this little guy, which is uh, O-ring face to JIC adapter. So that's really the kit. I mean, it's not anything special. Like you can pretty much buy all this stuff from different different places, hose places, um, any dealer will be able to sell this, but you need from four, at least for John Deere and Cat, you need from four flat face to 16 flat face, and then you need at least, I have four, six, and eight JIC. Sometimes you need bigger JIC, but it's, it's pretty rare on Cat and John Deere equipment. Other manufacturers might use different bigger JIC so you might need more of that but just I kind of just throw stuff if I see I think I need it or think I might use it for this kit I just throw it in here because you really never know what you're going to need